my husband chooses to be out of my public life. <laughs> but I did marry a wonderful man with the name Paolo Valderrama. Um, I met him through his sister, who is also a theater artist. Mm -hmm. And But Paolo is in a completely different industry. Thank God that God gave me this person. <laughs> um, and he is, uh, he is in the food manufacturing industry, mm -hmm. Marby Food Ventures. And yes, so he, he, he lives his life making and formulating bread. Oh, okay. My kind of guy. Okay. It's my my <laughs> yes. wife and my wife and I experiment with uh, the kind of bread we make here at home. <laughs> yes, sir. So he is so it's a completely different life from me. Uh with yeah. So whenever he he comes home to me and my drama, it's really quite an exciting time for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I I'd figure by then he would already be used to theater people and oh, their no, drama, no. but uh, <laughs> it doesn't why? change. He's always like, huh? <laughs> talaga? Ganito ba talaga? <laughs> so at least, at least I'm just grateful that he understands and or he tries to understand, even he, if he's so frustrated already. Um, but yeah, so uh, in the at the height of the pandemic, we we decided to pursue uh, having children, and mm -hmm. I realized that I actually had a problem, and mm -hmm. I had difficulty. Um, uh, conceiving and mm -hmm. so we we sought ivf and did did not happen for me actually unfortunately um but by some miracle after telling my husband i need to rest from the very stressful period of trying for a baby miraculously we were blessed we were naturally blessed with a child and so I, we now have a one year one and a half year old called leon named after my grandfather leonardo so it's a boy it's a boy good so, luck with that i know i know i've never had i've never experienced even having a brother so how amazing <laughs> is that to have a little boy <laughs> <laughs>